Hi, good morning. This is Danny Kabuhak. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, I want you to know that three months ago, I started the movement about the trillion trees and I already bought the land and it's legal in my name now. And we're going to start planting as fast as we can the first of the trillion trees. But again, the trillion trees I cannot do it alone or I need lots and lots of Danilo Kabuhats. It needs to be at least probably 10 million if they are very, uh, very eager to make the project work or a lot more if it's really going to happen. Remember, a trillion trees, plant, grow, maintain. And that, the movement is a gift from the Filipinos to the Americans. Last time it's only 10 acres and accidentally I bought 30. And that's even nicer. And all I want you to do for me is just, uh, if you can, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It will help me monetize my YouTube channel and I can support my claim without you giving me or sending me funds. I really appreciate that. Now, Saturday, this will change my life, hopefully for the better, because now, Remember this, this is three months ago. Now, I'm claiming today that I will make rains, a lot of it, as much as you want. And that one, I can make rains, especially on the place that there's a source of plenty and enough water. So it, ne it needs to be near the ocean. So, I, uh, I'm planning to do and talk if I can have the opportunity to talk to the Middle Eastern kings like the king or sheikh of Abu Dhabi, United Arab Emirates. Hopefully I can go to Qatar and uh, Kuwait too. And, but I learned that before I can go to Qatar, I pass through Abu uh, United uh, Saudi Arabia and hopefully I can have an audience to either any of the representative of the sheikhs or the king. Why I choose them is this. If I can convince, let me know, let me, you know, if I have more than 25 minutes, if I can convince them that I can build and make rains in the desert, I can make rains 100%. The only thing is I don't want to divulge so much information because I need my, the king to hire me so that uh, I can monetize my, my, my idea or my movement in the Middle East because they really need, hopefully, they really need rains there. And Saudi Arabia, right here, I bought this map three days ago and I mounted it and make a nice frame. I targeted Saudi Arabia, uh, Abu Dhabi, Qatar, Middle East because first of all, they have plenty of money and if they like my idea and I can really prove it, hopefully I can, they can just throw in the money that I need to make the idea works. Remember three months ago about the trillion trees in America, now rain in the desert kingdom. How can I do it? This is the key. Since we were born, everyone and each of one of us is producing a little bit of moisture. It's a very minute every time. Remember, you go pee, you go cook food, you produce a steam. Just by merely cooking rice, you're producing steam, but because you don't know what's going on or you have no idea what's going on, you just need that the rice is cooked and you can eat it with a bit of meat and that should be satisfiable enough but me too it took me almost 65 years to learn this so don't worry if you don't know what i'm talking about now i will explain it to you more in detail if you will subscribe to my youtube channel but right now it's a very uh, general idea but for sure 1000 percent we will produce a lot of rains the only thing that I am not sure is where specifically it will drop. Right now, I'm in Irvine, California, 
and I'm assuming that the governor of California will give me all the money that I need to produce rain right there, 15 miles north, uh, south of where I am on the Pacific Ocean near uh, Huntington Beach, Newport Beach, Santa Barbara. I really like to be in Santa Barbara too because there's a platform there that is almost 20 stories high that the oil companies are never been using it. Some are malfunctioning to uh, sip oil, but some are not being used. Now, how, why is it that I can prove that we, everybody is producing a little bit of rain in a very minute detail? When we were born, you need to go pee. So where did, will that pee go? In the diaper or if we, you can go pee on the side of the road or wherever you want to go, you are producing moisture. You are producing a little bit of uh, particles of moisture that goes to the air. And if you multiply by 10, 100, 10,000 times, at a trillion times, then you're producing moisture enough to make the place uh, cooler or you will make the uh, little bit of moisture on the sky. Now, see, how can I prove it right now? Assuming that this is the Pacific Ocean, Pacific Ocean. Why do you want to go to the beach? Why? The main purpose is you cool to cool you down, isn't it? Or to relax. And this is you. That's me. Right there. And do you know the law of nature? The law of nature it didn't... Human being didn't do this law. You cannot avoid it. It's the natural way of doing things. Look, normally the wind comes from the ocean. And now, what do you feel? You, you feel cold. You know why? The moisture from the ocean or the cool air by nature pushes the hot air. So it will make a breeze, a wind. And there's some particles of water there, very minute. And that particles, for some reason, it hits you. So it, it cools you down. Now, this is a good example. Remember this. Remember... Bilagio Fountain in Las Vegas or the fountain in Abu Dhabi. The, the, there's a uh, the fountain based on pattern through Bilagio Fountain in Las Vegas. And look at this. Assuming that this is the Bilagio Hotel. This is the water fountain right here in the middle. And it you have during the one song period, it's three to five minutes at a time. Remember that, the, for example, um, Mariah Carey or Celine Dion is uh, singing the, her song. And this water fountain reacts the way the songs, uh, the intensity of the uh, bursting of the is the water on the fountains. And look, sometimes it reaches four to six stories high. And then, look at this. Remember, this is Bilagio. Now you are right here. And this is the strip, the Las Vegas strip. And for some reason, you are there watching it right there. That's me again, or you. And, and you know how this Bilagio fountain is the start of what I thought that we can produce a lot of water. Look, remember that. Three to five minutes at a time. And after 15 minutes or 30 minutes, it do this process again. But for some reason you are here and the wind blow this way, blew this way. And look, what happened to you? And for some reason, the fountain throw the water particles so high that when the wind blew, blew it, it hits you. What did you feel? Moisture. Look, moisture, you become wet. Now, remember, three to five minutes. What happened when you tell Bilagio or convince Bilagio that you, you can do that for 30 minutes? What will happen to the whole strip? Or instead of 30 minutes, 30 hours or 30 days 
or 30 years, you will drain the Lake Mead in Las Vegas and Lake Powell in Arizona if you continually doing that without replacing the level of water. Remember, the level of water in Lake Mead is 60 feet down. Even the Lake uh, Powell in Arizona, it's 60 feet down. If there's no replenishment of water from the rain from Colorado River, that will go down another 60 feet. So it's not feasible because there's no permanence of water source. That's why our targeted days, Middle Eastern countries, Middle East, because you know why? First, they have plenty of water. Look, when I look at Saudi Arabia, in this part and this part, is ocean or body of water. Then, as long as you have enough, it will take you trillions of years, not billions of years, to suck the water from the Indian Ocean, South Atlantic Ocean, Pacific Ocean, and North Atlantic Ocean, North Pacific Ocean. It will take you trillions of years, and because of you, producing more rain, you replenish the water too. The water level stays the same. And remember, this uh, Antarctic, uh, where's the Antarctic here? The sea ice, the sea, the, the sea level is going to lower down and because of the temperature change. 30 years ago, I lived, I lived, this is the Pacific Ocean, Pacific Ocean. This is La Jolla, La Jolla, California. I live right down here. 1986, when I have my house, the breeze, remember the, nat the law of nature, the cold breeze forces the hot, uh, the hot temperature to produce wind. The, what you call this? Mm, the cold air, Pushes the hot air. That's the law of nature. You cannot change that. Now, 1986, I never used my AC. 2020, I spent a lot of money putting solar panels on top of my roof and a new AC. I think that's more than 20 minutes now. Jeez, I have, it's only halfway. Okay, now, I will be quick. Can the YouTube upload that? Video? Hopefully. Okay, now, again. Hello, ma'am. How are you? Thank you for coming here. I'll be with you within a few more minutes. Okay. 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 Just move around the store, ma'am, and I will help you. My name is Danny. Thank okay, you. now, remember the Archimedes principle? The Archimedes principle. This is the world. This is the world. And this is the lever. And this is the fulcrum. And this is Archimedes. He can move the earth by just providing, if you can provide him the enough length of lever to move the earth. Hopefully I can do the same, but I don't wanna move the earth. I just want to produce rain. Now, how to produce rain? That's the uh, technology based on how I describe you. Now, remember about the Bellagio Fountains? If you let the Bellagio Fountains, instead of three to five minutes, 30 minutes or, or three hours or 30 days, the whole strip will become so cold because of the moisture content that is producing every time. And probably the Eiffel Tower will become so wet. Remember, you become wet because you are right there. Now, we will do that in Saudi Arabia or Middle, e or Middle Eastern Kingdom. The same thing. That's all. The only thing is, it, it will be coming from the ocean. This is salt. This is salt. And salt produces acid rain. That's the main thing that I'm trying to hold on. Because you know why? I want or I need the kings or whoever is interested to give me the credit on what I thought can be done. Because I'm claiming something that no one else has probably explained. Or... They already did, but it's seeding. They produce, they put chemicals to react on the atmosphere to produce rain. 
That's the old method 20 to 30 years ago, but this time there's no chemicals involved. It's just plain technology and Saudi Arabia, the Middle Eastern countries has enough of it. They have plenty of money. So I have my fulcrum. I have this fulcrum to help me make the process work. Okay? Remember that. Again, three months ago, a trillion trees for the Americans, a gift to, from the Filipinos to the Americans. I did that and started that movement because I'm very, very grateful. 30 years ago, I am a poor man in the Philippines. Now, you should know, if I tell you the address where I live, you will never see my house very clearly because 30 years ago, you can see that very visually. And now my house is uh, full of trees all over it. It's, my trees are higher than my house. So you cannot, so I can prove you that I can do the same thing in Newberry Springs, 15 minutes north of Barstow. Please help me do the movement. I really need you. Please, if you cannot help me, just subscribe. Thank you very much. Thank you, world.